I'm broke. You're broke. It's just the reality of being in your 20s. So what do you do? No, put your phone down. You do not call mom and dad. You know that they're sick of your shit. You get a job. I mean, how else are you supposed to afford pre-order tickets to the new Fifty Shades of Grey movie? And how much easier would life be if you could just walk through the door and be like, yo, hire me, and then they're like, oh shit, you're hired. No, they want to take some time to sit down with you and ask you questions that you're going to fake the answers to because you want to make a good impression because you need those Fifty Shades of Grey tickets. But then you think, well, shit, I can't wear my same pizza-stained t-shirt and the same jeans I've been wearing for the past month and a half to this interview. So, you got to buck up for a minute, go to the mall, and get yourself an outfit. But you're poor, so you can't ball out on an outfit. It's okay guys, I got the solution. Dressing and styling yourself for a job interview can be really, really nerve-wracking because you want to put across a great impression while still maintaining your personality because you don't want to look like every average Joe that walks through the door. So I tried to think, how can I turn an outfit into a power move? And it hit me. A jumpsuit. I found this gem on the clearance rack for only $10. It's got a nice collar with some lapels. I called them lapels one time to my aunt and she like, reamed my ass out for months because of it, so lapels. It's got a little white trim on it, which looks a bit professional, plus it's on trend because the whole pajama thing seems to be really cool. You have a crossover detail in the front, which looks really nice, really put together, and you can maintain your womanly figure by cinching it here at the waist. The pants are nice and flowy so that no one can try and say that they're distracted by your body in the workplace, motherfuckers. And it's just a really all-around flattering piece. You can accessorize with maybe some extra chunky jewelry if you're down like that. I kept it nice and light for my jewelry up top. It's even got seams on the fronts of the legs that look like pleats so you totally look like you know how to iron your own clothes even though we all know that you just left this in the bathroom so that the shower steam could you know work out the wrinkles. Now that jumpsuit's great for a multitude of things. You could wear it once you actually land the job. That's the type of jumpsuit that you could take from I came from work to the bar type situation. Like family parties it would look great at. It's a little bit more of a formal piece, but it does all the work itself. But I wanted to amp up the professionalism just a little bit more. So what better way than with a blazer? We're going Beverly Hills on these motherfuckers in a white blazer. This one's got really light fabric so it's got great motion that goes along with the motion of the jumpsuit because that's a little bit flowy too. Once again, we're hit with the fake pockets guys. That's not a real pocket. It's got the slit to put your shit in but no actual pocket to hold it. But on the bright side, it does have buttons so if you want to pull the man power move and do like one of those little I'll stand up and button my jacket type situations. I don't know, I saw it on Mad Men a bunch of fucking times. You could do that. But I love the crisp white color. It ties into the white detailing on the lapels on the jumpsuit and it, it, it retains your femininity too. I love throwing my feminism around the workplace. Like, there's nothing better than a badass bitch doing a great job but what she does and looking great while she's doing it. And there's something about this navy and white combo that is so classic, you just can't go wrong. If you're anything like me, the most formal type of shoes that you have is the ugly sandal heels that you wore to senior prom back in the day. So it's time to get yourself a nice pair of some professional looking kitten heels in a conservative nude color. You could totally do a pop of color at the bottom, but me personally, I wanted to keep it a little bit more neutral. I just 
preferred the way that all of the earth tones kind of went with each other. A pop of red would look great, you could even do a white heel if you wanted, but for me these little nude kitten heels were perfect. Now I touched on accessories earlier, but let's get into them. Like I said, you could style the outfit with a statement necklace if you wanted to. I think that would look really great, but for me personally, I don't really wear statement necklaces, so I decided to go with something a little bit more delicate. Now the thing that I didn't have already to style were some bracelets, and I thought that they would be a really nice touch to the outfit. A little bit of extra bling. So I found this pack of bracelets from Primark. It was about $4.50. Um, it's got a tiny bit of bling bling on it. I know it's still on the package, but if you can see that, it's got a little bit of bling bling on it. A little bit of rose gold detailing, so it still ma maintains that femininity that we like to play around with in the workplace. Um, and they're just subtle. You know, I wanted to keep the jewelry pretty delicate and let the jumpsuit and the blazer really do most of the talking in this outfit. So altogether, this badass job interview outfit is going to cost you $46.00. 77 cents. That leaves you some money to go to Annie Ann's in the mall and grab a pretzel to congratulate yourself on the job interview and finding a ball and ass outfit for cheap. To all my ladies in the workplace, keep crushing it. To all my ladies waiting to hear back about a job, you got this shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check the description box down below for any links that may pertain to where we shop today or anything involving Hissy Fit. Make sure you give this video a like, leave us some comments down below, and subscribe to Hissy Fit so you don't miss out on any more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm in a Disney vacation club. Oh.